that's fine, right? I, I put another one, let me just try, let me just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Robert Cosi. I'm the publisher of Canadian Contractor, and I'm here at the warehouse of ITW, and this is Gustavo Angola. Thank you. <laughs> Gustavo Angola, and he is the technical specialist for ITW. Gustavo, we use fasteners all the time. Tell us how you test them uh, in your factory or, or in your test facility. Okay, so when we're, when we're coming out with, uh, or when we're evaluating a fastener, there are three main things that we look at. Okay. We look at how it performs uh, with the base material that it's intended to go into. Yep. So how it interacts, how, it, how the pullout is. Um, then the other thing we looked at is the strength of the faster on its own. Okay. So that basically comes from the steel, the diameter, those will define that. And then the third thing I would say we look at is the corrosion resistance. That's a that's key one to, as well and that comes from the coating. Okay, so now you made some drawings here on the board. Uh, show me what you're illustrating here with regards to fasteners. So if we're talking about, uh, let's say, a uh, screw to fasten wood to wood together, uh, there are, I would say, five different failure modes or, or, or failure mechanisms that you will look into. You will look into the main one that I talked about, or the second one that I talked about there, which is the strength of the fastener itself. For example, this would be tension strength or tensile strength. Yeah, you're talking about the strength that, would, that it would of take the to screw, pull of the to screw break to take it, it on apart. its own without wow. interacting like with it. Like break it, like pull, by pulling it? By pulling it, yeah. Wow. yeah. We usually okay. pull it, put it in a tensile tester machine and we pull it until it breaks. Okay. Uh, the same thing you can do for a shear. You would pull, let's say, half the screw in one direction and the other half in a different direction and then you would see how much it would take to break it there. That's called shear. And again, here we're only looking at the steel strength or the strength of the, of the fastener on its yeah, own. This doesn't make any reference to the, the substrate that it's going into. Yeah, 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 it doesn't. So when we're looking at how it interacts with the substrate, uh, we'll take the example of uh, a wood screw in the main member down here and then mm -hmm. the side member up here. Uh, there are three different failure modes that are typically evaluated. Uh, you can have the side member going in one direction and the main member going in a different direction, this could oh. generate uh, withdrawal failure or pull out. Basically, the screw pulls out of the bottom member. Gotcha. That's typically where the threads are going to be engaged in that right. main member down there. The other failure that you can get, depending on what's the strength of the wood itself, what uh, dimensions we're seeing here, you can get a pull through failure. Basically, it's when the side member pulls through the head and it will come from, from the same uh, movement between the uh, the two different boards. I see. So the bottom one, the main member will be going one way, the, the, the side member will be going a different way. Depending on how this works here, you can get a pull through, basically you break through the, the top member or the side member. Which is exactly what you don't want because what you're describing to me here is the two members that you're trying to pull together getting pushed apart. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. And then the bottom one that we're looking at here would be how how the screw performs when one wood member wants to go in one direction and the other wants to go in the opposite direction. This is called lateral strength and basically it's going to be determined by how strong the wood is and how, uh, how well designed the screw is in terms of, of threads and diameter, all that comes into account with this one. Okay, how, what is this one called again? This one's called pull through, the other one's called pull out, pull out, and then this will be lateral strength here. You definitely don't want is your screw breaking before it pulls out. Right. And that's gonna be determined by this. I see. So if, it's, if the steel's not strong enough, mm. then this might happen before this. And you definitely don't want the screw to break. You want, obviously you want it to hold as, as much as it can right. to the main member, but ultimately the wood's gonna give in and eventually the failure might happen if yeah. you get to a certain uh, load. Yeah. Okay, so you can test this all in a lab, essentially. Yeah, that's, this, is pretty much, this is pretty much what we test and the data that we, we develop, it's based, based on this sort of testing. Okay, so listen, next time we're gonna get together and you're gonna describe to me what design or what happens with the, the screw design in order to avoid these kinds of problems. For sure. sure. All right, yeah. thanks man. Yeah, no problem.